I'm River Bay, and welcome to my gun kingdom. And then you'd have the conveniences of all the features the 308 lower offers. Like on this particular firearm here, um, we actually have a bolt release on the right side of the receiver. So while your finger's outside the trigger guard, you can actually move it up here real quick and hit that bolt release right here, okay? So, and also the bolt release and the bolt catch is here back on the left side of the receiver. All right, so, uh, this gun is uh, set up for right hand since the um, safety switch is, is on the left side of the receiver. All right, and then your your um, mag uh, release is kind of nice. It, it's right here, so you don't have to drop the mag on the ground. It actually comes right out into your hand. So that's another great feature this gun has. But anyway, it's a it's a very simple conversion over to. Um, a new, uh, a different upper, um, and like I said, any AR-15 mil spec upper uh, will fit this, and it'll fire 5.56 and 223. And so let's go ahead and do the conversion, and I'll try not to get in your way, so you can see. But anyway, our bolt is closed. We can go ahead and close that dust cover. We got the parts here. We got the the buffer for the 5.56. Um, and it doesn't have any indication on here it, that it's for a 5.56 five, five, or 2.23 or whatever. But the buffer spring in here for the 308 does. It is marked right here, and I will show you that. But anyway, we have our conversion block and our buffer spring. So the first thing we want to do is take off the um, upper 308 and change out the buffer spring. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we separate those so we no longer need this barrel here. Now we're going to take this LE6940 upper. We can close the dust cover on this. All right. Now we need the first thing we need to do is change out change out the buffer spring. So you can use actually a bullet for this and press down on the detent there, but press in the buffer spring. As the buffer spring comes out, you want to take it out at an angle so it doesn't hang up on that detent, okay? And it'll come out pretty easy, all right? So now on here, it indicates that it's for the 308, okay? So we can't get it confused here. All right, so we take this 5.56 five, 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 buffer spring and we put it in here. Again, we want to go in at an angle. See, I'm going in at an angle here. Okay, press it all the way in, and it'll stay in. There it is. All right. So, the next thing we want to do is take the conversion block, all right, and we want to hook it up to here first on the LE6940. Safety flag there. All right, so that's done. All right. Now, all we do is line it up and slip it through here. That's all there is to it. All right. That's it. It's good to go. That's the conversion. And it's all set to go. So let's go ahead and, and uh, we can now fire the uh, the lower with the with the LE 6940 upper, and we get it. We get to take advantage of all the features that it has on the uh, 308 lower. All right. Okay. Here we go. Lower target. <laughs> 